Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to math lesson 10.9. You should be on page 621. In our last lesson, we talked about things that were above and below. Today, we're going to talk about things that are beside and next to. If you are sitting at a table, someone could be sitting next to you or beside you. Beside or next means it is in close proximity and right by you. Let's take a look at our math workbook page 621 and see what this girl is doing. Do you know what that is? She looks like she is kicking a soccer ball. A soccer ball would be the same as what three-dimensional or solid shape? If you said sphere, you are correct. She is, looks like she might be in a gymnasium and there are some, what do you call those? Cones and another soccer ball, so that's another sphere. And what is this yellow item? What do you think that might be? What three-dimensional shape? If you said a cube, you are correct. Let's go ahead and get started. They have an X and a circle. So let's listen. I would like you to trace the X on the object shaped like a cone that is beside the object shaped like a sphere. So they want us to put an X on a cone that is next to a sphere. That is next to a sphere. What's next to the sphere here is not a cone. So this would be the cone that we would put an X on, okay? The second part of this is I would like you to trace the circle around the object like a sphere that is next to the object shaped like a cube. So we're gonna circle that sphere. And like they said, this sphere is next to the cone or beside the cone. This cube is next to or beside the sphere. All right, let's see how we do. We'll go on to the next page and we are going to continue to talk about next to and beside. Okay, here we go. On this page, you will see there is a friend who it looks like they have laced some beads up. Do you see that? So you can take a string and you can put them through the beads. And if you look, each of those beads are a solid or three-dimensional shape. We could go around and we could talk. See if you could go through them with every someone with you. So you can go through all of them and see if you can name every three-dimensional shape there is there. That would be amazing if you could do that. Our directions today tell us to put an X on the bead that is shaped like a cube. All right, well, let's see. This is a cube and this is a cube and this is a cube. So we know we're gonna do something, put an X on one of those three cubes. I want you to put an X on the cube that is beside the bead that is shaped like a cone. So which of these cubes is beside a shape like a cone? Can you tell? Yeah, it's that green one right there. So go ahead and put an X on that. Excellent job. Now I want you to draw a circle around the bead that is shaped like a cone. All right, well, let's see. How many cones do we have? I see this red cone and this purple cone and this green cone. So there are three cones. I want you to draw a circle around the bead shaped like a cone that is next to the bead shaped like a cylinder. So where is the cylinder? Where's the cone that is next to the cylinder? It would be right here. It is next to a cylinder. Great job. Try to review and go over those shapes with someone. Okay, let's go to this next page. It looks like he 
this gentleman is delivering some packages. He's got a truck full of packages. Look at all of those. I spy, what are those two shapes? Those are cylinders. Here's another cylinder. Remember a cylinder is has two flat sides and curved in the middle and a cube and a cone. There's another cone and a sphere, cube. So many different 3D shapes. Let's go ahead, be a good listener. I want you to mark an X on the object that is shaped like a cylinder, but it has to be next to a sphere. Can you see the cylinder that is next to a sphere? Right here, this blue one. It is next to the red sphere. And last, I would like you to draw a circle around the object shaped like a cone. So we're gonna draw a circle around an object shaped like a cone that is beside the object shaped like a cube. Okay, so where is there a cone beside a cube? It actually is going to be right outside here. I hope you saw that out the back of the truck. So we will go ahead and circle that cone because it is beside the cube. All right, on this last page, this is gonna be kind of on your own here. You get to show us what you know about 3D shapes and talking about them being beside or next to something. So if you wanted to draw or use pictures to show what you know about real world objects, so um, you might draw a cone here, kind of like the work cones that we saw, and you're welcome to color that in if you want. And what if we put a baseball next to that cone? We could say, that the baseball is next to or beside the cone, cone. Another thing I really want you to pay attention to is the words. So cone, 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 and sphere, sphere. Make sure you're paying attention to those words because our test will have some of that information on there also. So we have cone and sphere. And then you also, we don't have these ones on here right now, but cube and cylinder. So three of these words begin with a C, cone, cube, cylinder. Remember this C word is making the S sound. Cylinder and sphere. PH says f sphere. So those are the four words of the four three-dimensional shapes that we have talked about. You draw your own picture and tell someone about it at home. Have a great day with math. Don't forget to do your homework and we'll see you tomorrow for our very last lesson in chapter 10.